The gentleman in front. My name is Shadi Isa. I am TV director, uh, producer. Uh, I'm Christian. I want to tell you something that I know Quran, and I had read Quran many times. And exactly I know how Quran describes Holy Mary uh, through the Surah Maryam and Surah Al Amran. Okay? I'll ask you something. I watch many times a session like this. The purpose all the time is to show the difference between Muslim and uh, Christian. My question is why we don't make a session like this and invite people like those to talk about the comments between being Christian and being Muslim. I believe in God and believe in Jesus and believe in Muhammad, everything. But I don't believe to make difference between being Muslim and being Christian. But that's a good question. He said in this session we are trying to make differences, we should try and make similarities. Brother, last time when the Dubai International Holy Quran Award called me, four years back, the topic of my talk was similarities between Islam and Christianity. Today, but should I, do I need to be Muslim? To believe in God? I will tell you that. That's a new question. First I'll answer your first question and come to a second question. You said that in this session we talk about differences. Brother, was I talking differences or was I talking about similarities now? Didn't I say I am more Christian than the Christian themselves? I said Jesus Christ said don't have alcohol. I don't have alcohol. I am talking about similarities. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said follow the earlier law. Don't have pork. I don't have pork. You all have pork. I am talking about similarities or differences? I am talking about similarities. I told that Hindu that your scripture says Almighty God has got no images. Almighty God has got no images. I am trying to bring similarities in his scripture and my scripture. Now because of his ignorance, he is not aware what his scripture says. Suppose someone says 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. I say brother, 2 plus 2 is not 5, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. It's mentioned in your book also and my book also. So I am trying to get the similarities. If a person doesn't understand maths clearly, I try and explain to him maths. Because I'm a student of comparative religion. So what I'm talking here is similarity, not the differences. I can give a bigger talk on differences. Coming to your second question, what did you say? Do, do, do I need to be Muslim? Ah, very good, very good, very good question. He said, I believe in God. Do I have to become a Muslim? Brother, if you believe in God, what is the meaning of Muslim? Muslim does not mean Zakir, Sultan, Abdullah, Shakir. Muslim doesn't mean Muslim name. You can keep your name Isa, so no problem. Muslim means submitting your will to God. Now you say I believe in God, but I don't submit my will to God. That means you are a hypocrite. <laughs> so Muslim means person who submits his will to God. So if I translate your question, I believe in God, do I have to be a Muslim? In English it is, I believe in God, do I have to submit your will to God? I said, yeah, if you believe in God, you have to submit your will to God. If you don't submit your will to God, that means you are a hypocrite, correct? That's what is Arabic. Muslim means a person who submits his will to God. You ask me the question, I believe in God, do I have to be a Muslim? It means I believe in God, do I have to submit my will to God? Of course you have to. If you don't submit your will to God, that means you don't believe in God. I am Christian. I no believe problem. in God. I don't need to be Muslim to be, believe in God. Brother, what is the meaning of the word Muslim? What? What is the meaning of the word Muslim? He is Muslim. You don't. Did you hear my answer? The because problem I, is you are asking a question. What I, what I mean? Brother, did you hear my answer? My answer was Muslim by definition means a person who submits his will to God. Just by keeping the name Shakir, Sultan, Zakir, Muhammad, Abdullah, you don't become a Muslim. Muslim means a person who submits his will to God. What is the meaning of Muslim? Repeat. Okay. Please. Person who submits his will to God. Now you are asking me, I believe in God. Do I have to submit my will to God? Of course you have to. That means you don't know the meaning of the word Muslim. Now because you don't know, I'm explaining to you. If you believe in God, you have to submit your will to God. You have to try and find out who is that true God. What did God tell you? And you have to submit your will to God. If you don't submit your will to God, that means you don't believe in God. Okay. Okay, Thank so you. now you believe in God. Thank you.